New information tonight about a local doctor accused of mistreating cancer patients to line his own pockets with millions of dollars in government money. And tonight that doctor is locked up accused of keeping patients on chemotherapy too long and bilking Medicare out of millions of dollars. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo first broke this story on Action News at noon. She's been working this developing story all day and she joins us live from Rochester Hills where the feds have been searching the doctor's offices. Heather, what have you learned? Well, that's right, Joanne. Federal agents spent most of the day here. They left just a short time ago with easily 100 boxes of evidence. Now, the doctor who owns this medical practice says on his website that he provides the best cancer care anywhere, but the feds would beg to differ. Exclusive video from the Seven Action News investigators. Only our camera was there tonight as FBI agents rolled out several carts stacked with box after box of evidence. The feds started raiding Michigan Hematology Oncology in Rochester Hills early this morning, and that's where they arrested this man, Dr. Fareed Fada. Federal agents also searched Fada's house in Oakland Township, as well as Fada's other offices in Clarkston and Bloomfield Hills. The FBI also took evidence from Fada's United. Diagnostics just down the street from his Rochester Hills Oncology office. The allegations against Dr. Fada are shocking. The U.S. attorney announced today Fada is charged with health care fraud, including allegations his practice submitted $35 million in false Medicare claims. What's worse, federal agents say in court records that Dr. Fada allegedly kept patients on chemotherapy longer than necessary to cash in on the billings. Agents allege Fada also directed that. That patients be diagnosed with cancer in their medical charts even when they did not have the disease. FBI agents also say Fada kept end-of-life patients on chemo unnecessarily. Yeah, I think it's terrible if he's given them therapy and they didn't have cancer. 85-year-old Pat Winowski is fighting cancer in her lungs and liver. She is shocked her doctor was arrested today. It's very upsetting because I really liked him. I trusted him. Are you going to get a second opinion now? Yes, I am. Terry Mitchell did not want us to show her face, but after more than seven years of treatment with Dr. Fadal, she says she's starting to doubt her diagnosis. I can't understand. I've talked to many people, and they say, well, why are you still on uh, Rituxan for the last seven years? Why, you know, because he told me at the beginning it would be a year of treatment and two years of maintenance. It's clear from court records that current and former employees have turned into informants, concerned about what was happening to patients. One described working for Fada as, quote, living with this hell. But nothing the feds can say will convince Sally Kelly that the doctor she calls gentle and loving could have harmed anyone. I don't believe a word of it. I have total faith. Dr. Fada faced a federal magistrate today who's keeping him in temporary custody. Now, the U.S. attorneys assigned to this case told the judge today that Dr. Fada has access to about $14 million and he has a home in Lebanon. So they told the magistrate that they were clearly concerned that he could flee. They're going to hold another detention hearing on Thursday. So far, the doctor's attorney is declining to speak to us. Reporting live in Rochester Hills, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Joanne, back to you. Heather, tell us a little bit more about this charge that we're talking about. Yes, the health care ch fraud charge. He could face up to 20 years behind bars, and so far he's been charged in a complaint. That means there could be more charges coming along the line. He could be charged uh, again in, or differently in an indictment that's still to come, possibly. Clearly, the feds are working very quickly in the complaint today. I could tell they interviewed people just yesterday on this, so they're moving fast. Well, and uh, how scary for patients, Heather. The questions they must have and um, must be a bit frantic tonight. Thank you so much. Much for the live report and we do want to tell you that patients who have questions concerning their medical records or who may have any information at all regarding this investigation we are told that you can call the United States Attorney's Office information line that number is 888-702-0553 that number again 888-702-0553 that number will be on our website as well